In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about the foreign key options. I mean, let's click on this design table. Let's come to this foreign keys. Okay, actually, when we talk about the prime uh, foreign keys, I, sh uh, I said you, we will not you uh, handle this to, uh, now. We will see this later. And today is this later. Okay. Guys, you can see here, I have actually two options. One of them is unupdate and one of them is on delayed. Actually, I'm not talking about this unupdate because it is the same thing as the delayed. I will just talk about this delayed. Okay, by default, maybe your MySQL didn't, uh, didn't write here the restrict. Maybe wrote here the no action. Let's change this to no action. Let's say apply, apply and the finish. And let me talk to you about what is this actions. For example, you can see here I wrote uh, we have on delayed. That means if you want to delete something from your referenced column, not your foreign key table, your reference table, you cannot delete this. Okay. When you write here the restrict, you cannot delete this. Let me show you. I will say the restrict. I will say apply, apply. What is this? Okay. Actually, it is the let's change this to cascade sorry guys apply apply and the finish and i will change this to restrict again apply apply and the finished okay it became apply i will say to clear this let's come to this student let's run all the sequels again for example you can see here i have this stefan richard peter and mark i have actually four uh, teachers i will come to this student table i will say i want to for example i want to let's say remove this gym okay i will click on gym and i will say delete and i will say apply apply and the finish you can see there is no serious difference writing here the restrict or the nothing because this student table is my the foreign key table is the table that holds the foreign key and you can do whatever you want on your foreign key table i mean child table because student is our child table and we have here the another table and that is teacher table and the teacher table is the primary or the master table or the parent table and if you want to remove this Stefan from here if you want to click remove okay if you want to apply here's the point apply and you can see I boom here because error cannot delete or update a parent row you can see guys I said here you cannot remove you cannot delete something from the parent table and the uh, here the error says they cannot delete or the update a parent row a foreign key constraint fails let's click cancel and let's just run the sql again you can see i couldn't remove this stefan the stefan here again it's because when you want to remove this stefan in your sql in your student table you have the another student that holds this teacher id one that means the killy has the teacher Stefan that is why you cannot remove this Stefan okay you cannot remove this Stefan and let's write here the another student I will say one and I will write here the mark is does we have any mark here yeah, we have here I will change this to the Ross okay and the teacher ID of this Ross let's write for I will say apply apply and the finish okay guys now you can see it this already mark has the student so we cannot delete this we cannot delete something from the teacher table because we said the restrict let's now write here the casket let's see what is the casket if you click apply apply and the finish that means you change this on delay to the casket i will run this sequels again by the way if you don't run this sequels again you will still be in the previous cask uh, in the previous delete option but you should run your sql again okay guys so let's clear this i will come to this teacher table i will say i want to remove this stefan okay because stefan has actually one student and that is kelly i will say the just export this from the table i will say apply apply and the finish you can see when i write here the casket i could delete 
the one row from the parent table. When you run the SQL, you can see it is gone. Let's come to the student. If you run the SQL, you can see I have the Kelly that holds teacher ID 1. If you run the SQL, you can see that already Kelly is gone because the cascade means if you want to delete one row from the parent table, you will also remove all the rows that holds that record. Okay. I mean, when you want to remove the teacher, uh, the teacher from the teacher table, you will also the, you will also remove the same record from the student table. Okay, for example, Kelly is the uh, was our student that holds the teacher ID one, and when I remove this one, I also remove this student. Let's come here again. I will change this cascade to the set null. I will say apply, apply, and the finish. And this is basic. This is not the uh, complicated as cascade. I will run the sequels again because it is kind of like a refreshing. I will say just remove this Richard. I will say export, apply, apply, and the finish. Okay, let's run the sequel. You can see the Richard is gone. And I will come here. You can see I have the two students that holds this Richard. Okay, actually was holding this Richard. If you say the run the SQL, you can see by default the teacher IDs became null because you set here the set null. Okay, that is why I saw this set null. Or if you want to add here two and two, you will see an error because actually there is no teacher that ID is two. I have just three and four. Okay, let's change this to the set to this set null to the no action. I will say apply, apply, and the finish. Let's just refresh all of this. Okay, you can see I have just two P, two teacher, and here I have the. Let's change this to three, and let's change this to four. I will say apply, apply, and the finish. And here I will just remove this Peter. Okay. Peter, apply and apply and actually what is the problem here? Cannot delete or update. Okay, what we set here, we set the no action. If you say no action, let's just apply, apply and the finish. And I will say the teacher run a game. And I will try to remove this Peter from here. I will say apply, apply. And you can see when you write the no action, actually, you will see an error. Because if you, let's say, close this and if you came here you can see actually I had the mark okay it was marked the previous was Richard I I think if you want to re remove this Richard you no, know, it is Peter it was Peter if you want to remove this Peter Peter has the one student that is why you cannot remove this Peter Okay, and when you write here as a delete option, then no action here. If you want to say apply, apply, and the finish. And if you come here, you say I want to delete this mark from here. If you say apply, and you will boom here, you will get an error. Okay, guys, this was our the on delete and uh, foreign key options. I mean on delete, we saw that how we can decide the what to do i always write here the set null okay because the set null is the simplest way for me i will say apply apply and the finish for example if uh, by mistake let's run the sequel yeah if let's say accidentally i remove this peter okay i said apply apply and the finish and this in the student id in the student table, all the teacher IDs will be null. Okay, you can see here it became null here. Okay, guys, let's finish this lesson here. Let's see you in the next video.